Hello, welcome to Friday Game Night, where we take an online Bible quiz together, see who does the best, usually you guys, uh, but we have fun doing it together. So uh, let's start off, let's get going. So remember your answers or write them down, whatever, and then at the end we'll we'll find out what the correct answers are. So let's get to it. So it, the category today is parables of Christ. Here we go. Parables of Christ. I think it was last year, um, our pastor, Pastor Bill, did a series, sermon series on the parables of Jesus. But let me get this fully on here, just so that we have all the answers with the questions. So question number one. What was to happen to the tares and weeds that grew up among the wheat? Ground up with the wheat, cast into the sea, burned up, or abandoned with the wheat bit. All right. Usually the first question is fairly easy. So I think you guys know this one. Of all the answers, I will answer burned up. Burned up. Sort of correlates to wheat and tares, the believers and the unbelievers. All right. So, all right. Question number two. Question number two, and it looks like I'm going to need to fix this here. All right, there we go. Here we go. Question number two, what did the man find hidden in a field so that he sold all that he had to buy that field? Was it a pearl, a gold chest, a treasure, bag of coins, or none of the above? Oh, they snuck in none of the above in there, huh? Huh. What is it? Do you guys have the answer? Go ahead and. Guess your answer. Remember it, write it down. And for some reason, I initially thought pearl. Pearl. But always that none of the above throws a hitch in my thinking. Treasure also came to mind. He sold all he had to get the treasure hidden in the field. That's what I was. I'll guess treasure. Okay. Next question. Number three. How much did the landowner pay each man for working in his vineyard for one day? One denarius, five minas, two mites, one piece of silver, or none of the above? I don't know. There's like four currencies. Denarius, minas, mites, or silver. Hmm. For one day, I think he gave none of them stick out to me. None of those options. Uh, I'll guess piece of silver. Because wasn't it one word what they do with that silver, right? Do they invest it, keep it away, put it away, spend it, right? Uh, there's like 40 plus parables, right? Uh, okay, that's my guess. Question number four. How many of the virgins did not have enough oil for their land? Four, five, six, ten. None of the above. None of the above. Which do you think it is? I'll let you guess. And I think I got my guess. Okay, my guess is five. Five had enough, five didn't. I think that's correct. I think. Okay. Okay. All right. Question number five. The man who received five talents from his master and how many more? Oh, that's the one. The man who received five talents earned how many more? Two, five, ten, fifteen, none of you. Who received five earned, I'll let you guess. Who received five got five. 
right? Or is it two? Five. Two or five? I'll say five. <sighs> okay. Number six, what seed is described as smaller than all others but becomes greater? Fig, gourd, elm, mustard, none of the above. Okay, back to a good one that I can answer, and I think you can answer too. What is your guess? Guess right now while I put my guess. My guess is mustard seed, right? Okay, question number seven. Which of the following did the father not give to the prodigal son upon his return? A robe, a ring, a necklace, sandals, none of the above. Okay. What is your guess? As I think through mine, he definitely got a robe. He definitely got a ring. So it can't be robe, it can't be ring, it can't be none of the above. So it's either necklace or sandals. I'm thinking... I'm thinking it is sandals. All right. Let's go to question number eight. Eight. Which of the following is not a parable of Christ? The two sons, the wicked vine dressers, the wedding feast, torn fishing net, or none of the above? Was there a parable about a wedding feast, yes. Two sons, yes. Wicked vine dressers or torn fishing net? I think it's the fishing net. I think so. Okay, that's my guess. What's your guess? Your guess is as good as mine. Although you may know the right answer. Not really a guess, you know the answer. Okay, question number nine. What did merchant sell to buy one pearl of great price? The pearl great, I forgot this. I know there's a pearl great price, but I don't know what was sold to buy it. <laughs> 10 inferior pearls, all that he had. The Bible doesn't say a parcel of land, none of the above. Oh. Wait, throw that none of the above kitchen. My guess, and you can guess now too, is the Bible doesn't say. For a great price. It was such a great price, there's no measurement, right? And so that's why the Bible doesn't say. Okay. Question number 10, final question. How many coins did the woman have before she lost one. Ten, eleven, twenty, ninety-nine, none of the above. The lost coin. There's a ninety-nine sheep. I don't remember of the other coin she had. I like I don't even remember it was a woman. Because there's the parable of the prodigal son, right? Right? Before that was lost sheep, right? And lost coin. I don't remember. So I'll I'll do none of the above. I got two questions right. Okay. One of them is probably not this one. I know I got two questions right. Alright, so are we ready? Are we gonna all right, let's see the damage. Let's see my damage. You probably did pretty well. Oh, okay, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Yeah, I got a 30 out of 50. Okay, so that's more than half, more than the two. So that's, uh, what, six questions, right? Six, all right. Question number one, burned up, yes. The weeds would be burned up. Question number two, what did the man find hidden in the field? Ah, treasure, yep. Okay, here we go. The currency that was used in this parable was 
you already know it, probably. One denarius. I got one piece of silver, but the wrong one. One denarius. Okay. Question number four. How many of the virgins did not have enough oil for their lamps? Five. I think I knew I got that one right. And the man who received five talents earned how many? Five more. Yeah. What seed is described? Smaller than all others. So it becomes great. The mustard seed. All right. So here's one of the other questions I got wrong. Which of the fun did the father not give? It was the necklace. I did that same mistake before. I said sandals, right? I, that's what I knew he gave. And so, okay. I'll, 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 I'll take that off. Take that off. Because that's the, uh, I did rope, did ring, and it's either necklace or sandals. I thought he was going to, I thought he got the sandals too, and so I didn't check the necklace. All right. Question number eight. Which of the following is not a parable? Christ, yes, torn fishing net. And then the last two, apparently I got wrong, is what did the merchant sell? Oh, yeah, all that he had. Right, right. right. I think I was just rushing. Okay, and then the last one, last one is... How many coins did the woman have before she lost the one? The answer is 10. 10. I should have I should have guessed that one too. I think it was 10. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. Another game night. Another win for you, probably. But it was fun, right? Fun. Fun together. And remember the, the great parables. You know, the prodigal son parable and the pearl of great price. And it just reminds us of the love of God. Love and cast for us. So, hope you have a wonderful weekend. And until next time, I'll try to study up more. I don't know what's going to be the, the next category, but hey, um, it's still fun doing this together, right? So, God bless you. God loves you. And so do we.